The following is an Outdoor Channel original production. What I get to do and what my team gets to do is help these animals. It's kind of like a mash hospital out here sometimes. <laughs> All there for ball game. I'm Wes Livingston, gunner, mugger. Oh, you're a meat one. That's my day job. My name is Earl Waters. I'm a helicopter pilot. In the world of helicopter flying, it's probably considered one of the most dangerous. I'm Dr. Ole Altenbrack, and I'm a wildlife veterinarian. We are here to conserve them, and they are a national treasure. At the end of the day, I know that what I did ensures the future of these animals. I'm Dr. Ole Alkenbrack and I'm a wildlife veterinarian and we're in the Silver Bell Mountains of Southern Arizona. And the mission today is to capture 30 desert bighorn sheep. Dr. Ole Alkenbrack is working with the Arizona Game and Fish Department to capture 30 desert bighorn sheep from an area that is overpopulated and relocate them into two regions with ideal habitat, but very few sheep. The purpose of this capture today is a translocation project where we got a population of bighorn sheep, desert bighorn sheep here, that are genetically suitable and disease-free to be translocated. We're going to be doing helicopter captures by a net gun. They're going to be brought to this staging area. We're going to process those sheep. Some will get collars. All of them will have blood drawn from them and various nasal swabs, pharyngeal swabs, you'll see that we're just trying to monitor disease is the big thing. Desert bighorn sheep call harsh and unforgiving terrain home. They are unmatched climbers in the animal world, and getting close to this elusive prey by any means is no small feat. To accomplish this mission, the team will fly through dangerous conditions to capture the sheep at point blank range with a net gun. Yeah. Net gunning is I'd have to say it's more of an instinctual thing. It's like hitting stop sign with a beer can or beer bottle going 20 miles an hour with a 10 mile crosswind. And now you're hitting it doing 60 miles an hour with no crosswind. There's just so many variables that there's no way to aim a net gun. You're not shooting a net on an animal. You're shooting a net out there for an animal to run into. Once we have the animal contained, whether it be drugged, in this case covered in a net, then we have to find a suitable landing area where the muggers can get off and attend to that animal right away. Um, you got to get out in some very steep terrain. You got to figure out where you can climb up and have a helicopter pick you up enough room that they can get in. You're... Two helicopter teams will take flight during this mission, each tasked with spotting, netting, mugging, and transporting 15 desert bighorn sheep. Flying low over rugged, mountainous, and inaccessible territory makes for dangerous flying, where mistakes cost lives. Doing animal capture is so challenging. You've got to net gun or dart an animal that doesn't want to be net gun or darted to begin with. You're very power limited because of the high altitude. Plus you have three people in the helicopter. Then you gotta position the helicopter where the gunner can hit the animal. And then I've gotta keep us out of the trees and keep us in the air. I'm looking out the left door, the front, the right door. I mean, my head's on a swivel, it seems like. Make you dizzy. Let's not underestimate how gnarly this job is. I mean, the gunner's hanging out of the helicopter with a strap on his back, and that gun that weighs 15 pounds kicks like a mule deer. Well, this is what we call our net gun. This is what we use to capture the sheep with. It shoots a uh, 308 plank without the bullets, just a plank. And uh, 308 goes in, bolt action. When you uh, pull the trigger, the charge goes off, goes into the four barrels inside each barrel is a weight, okay, and that weight is on each one of the four corners, and the net is 11 by 11 square, 11 feet by 11 foot square. 
The mission will help the population of sheep in three different areas by removing 30 sheep from an overpopulated region and transporting them to two new areas. The genetic diversity of desert bighorn sheep will continue to thrive. In the last 40 years, Arizona has been able to take these populations and redistribute them around the state, and that's exactly what the purpose is today. What a desert bighorn sheep is thinking is basically predator evasion. So they use a number of different evasion tactics. They hide in caves, uh, they hide behind boulders, they get in the brush, they hold tight, or sometimes they do run and they do run quickly. So that's what you're thinking as a, as a, as a crew member, whether you're the mugger or the pilot or the gunner, you're always thinking, where's that animal gonna go next? Once the net is over the animal and the animal is down on the ground and he's pretty much immobilized, we'll drop a mugger off and the mugger's goal is to get there and just get him in his arms or her arms and then put their hands over their eyes, put a blindfold over their eyes, put a, a hobble on them so all their hooves are together and then we'll load them into the ship. They don't know that what we're doing is to protect them and save them as a species. Silverbell Mountains of Southern Arizona, the mission is on to capture and relocate 30 desert bighorn sheep. Capture operations are quite complex from the initial planning stages all the way through to the final release of these animals and then the follow-up by the biologists afterwards. It starts with getting all the players involved and on board with the idea that this is a good project. Then the actual capture process involves some potentially risky helicopter flying. Yeah, the style of flying done while well, capture is much different than normal flying because you're trying to get the gunner as close to the animal as you possibly can without running into an object. Because we always have close calls, and my passengers always have smiles on their face sitting next to me, and I just think to myself and say, you just have no idea how close we just came. The adrenaline's always flowing. It's tough out there, it's pretty steep and rolling. And as soon as a bighorn sheep gets blindfolded or we cover their eyes with their hands, they really calm down for the most part. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. We'll ultimately, we'll put a, a hobble on them so all their hooves are together, and then we'll load them into the ship and bring them back to the ship. We're gonna carry the sheep up to that little flat spot right there. Okay. My feet. Grab her head. With ideal conditions, the capture teams place the desert bighorn sheep inside the helicopters for transport. However, when the slopes are too steep for a safe landing, the muggers will instead secure the sheep in a reinforced bag and attach it to the helicopter by cable. the rocks. It's really hard to work on this slope. Yeah. Now we gotta hike down, right? <laughs> oh, oh, come get us right here. <laughs> With the desert bighorn sheep safely secured, 
the helicopters fly them back to the base of operations for testing and recovery in preparation for relocation. I can look down in my mirror and see whether it's a U or a Ram, and they're just sitting there in the bag blindfolded. They don't know what's going on. It still takes a bit of practice to get where you can do it efficiently and safely and gently. Once the sheep are back at the landing site, Dr. Ole and his team go to work. When that animal comes in the table, my biggest immediate concern is his temperature. He came in a little hot. We're going to get the initial temperature. I ride it on their horns so we can monitor it. What is it? 104.7. 104.7. So we were going to get some water and dump it on this guy? Yeah, just a little bit on his top. We're just trying to get his body temperature down. This is the desert, and even though he lives in it, uh, anytime we get up to 104, we get concerned about capture myopathy and other problems that can be associated with hot animals. So we just start cooling processes, anything over 104. 104 is a temperature of concern. 106, we start getting busy. I'm gonna give him an injection of banamine. It helps to uh, decrease the temperature and some of the damage that's done by high temperatures. And then we wanna check him in about every five minutes and see if it's going up or down. It's more important what the trend is than what the absolute number is when we got a hot animal. Get some more water, we'll douse him again. At 108, the brain, which is mostly fat, begins to melt. As long as it doesn't want to trend back uphill, that's good. 104. All right. Good job. Right now, we're drawing blood. Uh, there's blood samples that are done for DNA purposes, as well as uh, screening for diseases. mission is off to a fast start, and the two helicopter teams are quickly bringing animals back to the landing site. This is how you surgically scrub yourself in the field and get ready for the next one. So far, they have captured 20 desert bighorn sheep during the operation. And here comes another one. All right, we got one coming in. We do admittedly cause stress in these animals, and the reason why it's important and the reason why we take the risk is because those animals are a representative of the entire population. Desert bighorn sheep populations have been on the rise for over 50 years, thanks to hard work in state and federal programs such as these. And the operation is only a success if every man and beast walks away safely. It's probably a little hot this time of day, so as soon as we can get a thermometer in, One oh eight, one. Callie, if you can bring me a catheter, I'll set an IV. After 20 successful captures, the 21st sheep arrives at the site in a critical state. Those jugular catheters. Holding it, one oh eight one. Okay, we hit critical mass. <laughs>
hot. When they're this hot, let's get a minute by minute temperature, okay? okay. It's holding at 107.2. You know, that's a lot better than 108.1. Okay, let's cool down. It's 106.7 down from 108.1, which uh, it got us out of the danger zone, but she's still really hot. So we'll let the wind and the cool water work on the outside, let these fluids work on the inside, and get her down to a reasonable temperature before we put her back in the trailer. It's dropping down. It's 106.4 now. Good. Good. Her brain's not on fire anymore. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. Did you get all injections in here? OK, thanks. It's kind of like a mash hospital out here sometimes. <laughs> we do our best with limited supplies, but excellent skills. 105.2. Oh, all right, right, we're out of the woods. Holding at 104. Beautiful job. OK, 108. One starting temperature. What was the last one? 104.4. 104.4. Good job, everyone. It's getting warm. It's afternoon. And so these sheep are going to start coming in hotter and hotter and hotter. Here in the desert, you know, we got to always deal with animals that are hot. I got work to do. Arizona Game and Fish is in charge of managing over 800 species of wildlife in the state of Arizona. We had Game and Fish volunteers. We also had Arizona Desert Bighorn Sheep Society members come out. It's showing cooperation that all these groups can get together and work towards this common goal of promoting this species. The two helicopter teams successfully captured eight more desert bighorn sheep. With the operation coming to a close, there is one sheep left to catch. Over on the hill. Looks like a shooter. Heck yeah, we'll take him. Okay, we're gonna end the day tied 15 sheep apiece. We needed one more ewe. Mike radioed to me that they had one. We'll try this other slope, otherwise we'll push him to the road. Push him down there, shoot him on the road. Yeah, that's more. It's choice, we want the back one, not the front one. Okay. There is one sheep left to complete the mission, and these two are running for their lives, directly towards the landing site. Well, run them all the way down. That's what I say. Push them to the bottom. Funny if they go up. It'll be interesting when they get there. That's a whole different ball game. The two helicopter teams have successfully captured 29 desert bighorn sheep, and their goal is for 30. Of course, the last capture will not go as planned. There they go. As well, run them all the way down. That's what I say. Push them to the bottom. So going into that last sheep, I was one sheep up on Mike, and I was like, oh, OK, we're going to we're gonna end the day tied 15 sheep apiece. So as soon as they got out in the open and started running, then we were able to just move in and into the shot. The last shot of the day was a great shot netting.